Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll do some summaries. As you see, I have a list of outdoor plant sales here, one column for each month, and then one row for each type of outdoor plant. So what I'm going to do now is simply get the summary for the plants of that row, 4, into the row 11 here, B11. So there's several ways of doing this. I'm going to show you some of them. First, I'm just going to do the auto sum there. That's very easy because then you get the right suggestion. And then I can simply press enter there and drag and drop. And this is rather tricky to do to drag and drop. You see, when I move my mouse around this area here, I get a plus symbol kind of thing. And then I get the little plus thing, which is the fill handle. I don't want to use those two. What I do want to use is the double edged arrow there. And I get that as soon as I am over the edge. So I'm going to drag and drop that over there. And just re replace that. So MB4 to M4. This is still the same numbers there. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is, of course, to enter the values equals sum. And then the, I'm going to be on B5, right? Right there. So I can just enter B5, colon which is 2, and then 5. That works too, and then I actually get the very friendly highlighting there that Excel does for me. Another way is to press the auto sum button that we saw before, and then not accept the default suggestion there, but instead just select another range that you want to summarize. Those are three ways of doing it. Now, these three, when Excel is internally representing this, it's doing this as relative references. So that means that it's calculating the row which is seven rows above here, and then it keeps going 12 columns. And if you notice, this is the same thing, seven rows above, and then 12 columns to the right. So these are all the same. So that means if you're doing something that is the same, you can actually go ahead and fill down the same formula like that. And you do that by hovering over the little, little um, lower right corner of the cell that you want to copy like that. And as you see now, if I go into the summary, you see it does that. It shows me the, the right number. So those are four different ways of doing an auto sum, except for the, the usual one, of course, doing that just auto sum for you and getting the correct range suggestion directly. Thank you for watching this demonstration.